Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. For those of you that are new here, my name is Ellie and I've just finished my degree at the University of Leeds studying mathematics and I'll be going on to study a Masters in Mathematics at the University of Cambridge in September. So today I guess I'm spilling the quite literal tea on whether you need to have studied further maths to go and study maths at, at university. So before I start with this video I'd just like to say that I'm planning on releasing a lot of videos on my channel over this summer because I'm taking the summer off to kind of relax before I go to Cambridge so there will be a whole range of different videos about university, maths, just you know general application applying, internships, all sorts of things on this channel so make sure you subscribe and hit the bell button so you don't miss out on any of those videos. So now I guess we'll get on to the video. So this question which is you know how much does further maths impact what you learn at university do i need to study further maths at a level to then go and do maths at university is probably the most asked question that i get on my channel i get a lot of people you know when i've done q a's before and i've answered them in some of my q a's but i thought i would make a very specific video about it and go into the details of whether you need to or not it is a very common question and i understand why a lot of people think well if i do just maths at a level then maybe i'm not good enough to do just maths at university which is a massive misconception and i'll explain a little bit more about that later so i guess the first thing to say is in answer to this question a lot of it depends on the university you're applying to i know that when i applied to university i didn't need to do further maths but some universities require you to study further maths alongside maths at a level to go and do the degree that you want to do so firstly what i would say is if you have any universities in mind go and check out their web pages go see what the prerequisites are in order to study maths at university so if they say we need an a level maths and a level further maths then take both of them otherwise obviously you won't be able to go to that university another thing as well is i know for leeds they actually lower your offer if you have further maths at a level so i think the offer for leeds was i think you needed three a's with an a in maths or two a's and a b where you have an a in maths you know a level um and further maths alongside that and I think that's the same as having AS further maths as well so the first thing I'll say is go check the universities out see whether you definitely need to or not and also just check if you think you know maybe you're not going to attain the grade see if the university will lower your grade depending if you have further maths or not so that's the first thing I'll say and then the next thing I will say is in answer to the question generally no it doesn't make any difference whatsoever whether you study further maths at a level before going to do a maths degree what I would say is I would recommend to anyone who loves maths to take further maths at a level I picked it up in my second year at an AS level and it just helped me understand maths so much more it made the a level maths so seem so much easier even though you know further maths can be quite challenging and quite difficult I think if you love maths you'll enjoy it you learn different areas in, in further maths which I really really enjoyed but if you're somebody who's thinking I just want to do maths you know I've got some of the A levels that I'm doing you know chemistry physics English whatever any any kind of A levels that you're doing and you don't want to take your other A levels with further maths then that's fine I'm going to use an example straight away and this kind of shows how much doing further maths doesn't really affect whether you do well at university or not so when we got to university they showed us basically how well everybody did over the kind of three years of degree level and how kind of what percent of those did maths and which percent did further maths and what you find is in first year you are more likely to do better in first year if you've studied further maths and that's because first year you kind of get everyone everyone gets up to the same speed so universities know that you all haven't studied further maths if they're a university that obviously doesn't require you to study further maths that is so they know that some of you haven't studied further maths and the whole idea is first year is to get you up to speed so if you have studied further maths a lot of the content you may learn at university in first year will be covered and so you'll understand that a lot easier than somebody who hasn't done maths but then they showed us the kind of overall you know how much did it impact whether you got a first in your degree or a two one in your degree whether you did further maths or not and there were there was no correlation whatsoever you know first year there's probably some slight correlation but that's because a lot of the stuff you learn in first year is i suppose repetition rep, some of it is repetition of further maths but the example that i'm going to use is i myself did further maths a level um because i really love maths and i really really enjoyed it and my best friend victoria didn't do further maths at a level and both her and i got the exact same grade in our first year which was 80 percent so straight away two examples of someone who's done further maths and someone who hasn't done it and we've both got exactly the same grade it doesn't matter and I'm going to kind of talk to you a little bit now about why it might help you and also I suppose why it doesn't matter so much if you don't take further maths at A level. I think there's a lot of people that have I guess massive imposter syndrome and they think well I've only taken maths 
therefore I'm not good enough. I should have taken further maths to do maths at university. And that is so far from the truth. So firstly, why would further maths help you at, at degree level? So obviously all everything I'm saying in this is for a university that doesn't require you to have further maths to get in. Obviously it's different if everybody you're with has done further maths and maths because you have to. This is an example where the university doesn't specifically require it. it they may lower the grades like Leeds did. So where further maths may help you is in first year and first year then obviously everything you learn in first year builds up in second year and third year. As I said, the university is getting you up to speed with everybody else that's around you and you will learn things like imaginary numbers that came up in my further maths that didn't come up in normal maths and that's something you learn in, in your first year of your degree. So the only real thing that I find further maths helped me with was the fact that there were some modules that I didn't really need to try as hard because I'd already done learnt the content but there's not a massive amount of content that you learn and there's not a massive of overlap but there are certain modules that will use things that I've learned for the maths that were in first year. However, that being said, you learn your modules, you know, for A-level, you learn them um, and you have your exams in June, then you've got a whole summer off and then you start again at university. And by that time, most people have forgotten exactly what they did at further maths. And if anything, it's kind of a bit of a reminder for them. You know, for me, I, I remembered the stuff I did at further maths and I thought, oh, this is kind of a little bit nice because I don't have to work as hard. You know, I've learned this stuff already. I know it. But I still had to learn it, relearn it for the exam. So everyone is essentially in the same position. The only difference is that further mathematicians may understand things a lot quicker because they've already learned it. And that's the only real difference, I would say, between having done further maths and having not done further maths. Once you get past first year, first year doesn't count, remember. Once you get past first year, it makes no difference whatsoever. What you learn at further maths at A level has nothing to do with what you then go and do later on in, in your degree I would say you know maybe imaginary numbers here and there but from what I can remember what I did in my further maths A level it didn't influence I personally don't think it influenced how my later years went you just learn everything in first year then you go on to second year and third year you just build on that knowledge so what I would say is you don't need to worry whether you have or you haven't done further maths at A level I think if you enjoy what you do you enjoy maths you'll have the best time at university that's why I would say maths at uni can get very hard it's very challenging but if you love what you do, it will be a lot easier. So definitely take maths if you enjoy it and, and you can see yourself enjoying learning more about it and you're intrigued by learning more about it. I think that's probably everything that I would cover when people ask me this question. My immediate response is no, it doesn't make any difference. Two of my best friends didn't do further maths and we all got pretty much the same grades. You know, we all got first, well into first and that's the highest grade you get at university. So don't worry, it doesn't, change anything don't go to uni thinking my gosh i'm going to be a lot behind a lot more behind on other people because they did further maths something as well is you're probably watching this if you're an a-level student or you've just finished your a-levels what i would say after three years of doing a degree a-levels don't define you and i know how easy it is at that stage in your life to think oh my gosh i need these grades i need to get all a stars all this you know fair enough if you do to get into your your university but once you're into university a levels don't define you and even later on in life they don't people don't really care as much whether you've got these a levels you know when i applied to oxford and cambridge i didn't put my a levels on my transcript because it wasn't appropriate you know they didn't need to know about my my grades my a level grades they were just interested in what i learned at university a levels don't define you and i will say that over and over and over again I'm someone who went to university, my grades, I got an A in maths, an A in English literature, a B in further maths and a B in theatre studies and then I got a diploma in financial studies as well. I pretty much got the minimum that I needed to get into Leeds and I went there thinking I'm not clever enough, everyone else has got A stars, you know, I'm not clever enough at all and so to my surprise I actually did a lot better than those people I knew that had got all A stars. University is definitely a different mindset from A levels massively. Uh, I know that I did probably one of the hardest kind of A-level, what do you call them, exam, exam boards I think, so that probably affected my grade a lot. Um, we did one of the harder ones but it prepared me very well for university so when I look back at it I would have much rather have done a hard maths A-level exam board then go to uni rather than do an easy one and go to uni and find it difficult. 
But that being said, you know, I got the minimum that I needed to get into Leeds. I surprised myself. I worked incredibly hard. I managed to rank within the top 5% of my cohort in second year. I've ranked top of the class in two modules, in two fluid dynamics modules. And I'm going on to study a master's at Cambridge. And I know that sounds like a little bit of a, a bragging fest, I guess, for me to say this is what I've achieved at, at uni. But it's I wanted to include it because I want to say A-levels don't define you. I didn't get three A-stars. I didn't get four A-stars at A-level. I got literally the minimum, minimum I needed to get into Leeds. And I'm happy to say that that didn't stop whether I achieved well or I achieved bad at, at university. It's mindset. So what I would say again is A-levels don't define you. Go to university with a fresh mindset of I'm going to be a new person and I'm going to be the best that I possibly can be on this degree and just enjoy it. So I've realised this video has been a little bit longer than I expected, but I think what I've said, I think everything I've said in this video is really relevant and really important for A-level students or people that are just at university generally. So I hope this video has been useful. I hope it's given you an answer to the question that I always get asked and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, then please like, subscribe and comment and I will see you all in the next video.